open to robot. The way we're looking at Operation Fath O Mobin in the Iranian War. Uh, it's an old scenario. It's one of those um, I'm just going through and trying to get a video for, for each scenario. Um, working from the back, so I'm now on to sort of the second block, whatever you want to call it. So I've got, you know, I've got a video for these, etc., etc. So I've uh, got one for that. This was a very early one, but anyway, so this is the next one, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, so it, it is an older game, and um, I think one of the things about this is that it, it's it, for the size of the operation, it's a really small map, you know, because this is sort of how I was doing them. There are others, I think I've done bigger ones, but... So that's an observation. I have actually gone through and sort of prepared it, and um, with regards to... I did have a laugh, because I did this before, and I thought... Uh, and that basically, I sort of said, oh, I, I, I've, I've gone through and done this since I did it. Um, what I'm referring to, things like the artillery, I mean, the artillery was 11-11. Three, um, and then there's a little thing there, and God, I'm not even sure if it worked. I wonder if it actually works now. I think it should, should, should work. Anyway, I've gone through and done some, some sort of fairly basic and significant changes. I think the one thing that was, that was wrong with it, some, some of them, some of the units on their first turn begin with zero movement, as though they've already moved, and that, you know, so they're all showing great, so I spotted that straight away. So I did a video and then I finished it. But, but basically, the whole idea is that the Iranians. The, 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 the Iraqis are trying to take this location here. Um, and the Iranians counterattack. So that's what sort of happens here. So they, they, they counterattack down here. I'll, I'll go into play mode. In theory. Um, so, so what, what I'm actually trying to do is. And obviously there's the, you know, there, there's this sort of, the, the Iraqi punch towards, um, whatever this is, I'm just trying to read this at the same time, um, shush. So they're trying to take that, and as they're trying to do it, the Iranians then break this kind of pocket out of that, I and mean, that's basically what happens. And so I could do a bigger map to sort of reflect that. Um, I, mean, there's a, I mean, when you consider that on the uh, Iraqi side there were between eighty to 160,000 soldiers, and on the Iranian side, you know, 200,000, um, 185,000, up to 185,000, so I mean, there's over half a million troops here. So it didn't really, you know, I think we could definitely do with a bigger map. Um, so, so essentially, uh, on, on the 22nd of March, uh, precisely 18 months after the day of the uh, Iraqi invasion, the Iranians launched Operation Fatha Mobin and intended to use a pincher movement, as described, um, to encircle Iraqi forces who had halted outside the Iranian town of Shush. Um, and the, so, the Iranians suffered much greater casualties than the Iraqis because the Iranian attacks at times involved massive unsupported frontal assaults made by um, Pastoran, um, which basically their infantry troops, if I recall rightly. So that's what they're trying to do. So, so again, uh, uh, more than more, but the, the thing is, it could do with a bigger map, I think. Um, and also, I think the balance of play, to a large extent, is um, it's sort of off center. It's all going to take place here, so there's nothing going to take place here or anything. Um, so it's it's just a bit small, a bit squishy, and I don't do it again. But uh, you know, I'm not going to apologise too much for an old game. Um, there's plenty of other ones that use the bigger maps and. You know, there's no real reason for a bigger map, but I just think it would be, it's, it's naturally inclined towards a bigger map, uh, but the you know, bigger maps didn't exist in the early days. So I have no idea how, how this plays through, um, so, I mean, 
to be quite honest, I don't really know what sort of strategy I would want to use. Um, I haven't actually really sort of looked at it. I'm going to do that now, obviously. But let's just see red lines. So the thing is, if we're going to try and create a pocket, we've got to actually have something to to target. Now it could be that we could say, well, we'd be happy if we could just take these units. Which might be a little easier to achieve because we can definitely move into there, and then we could probably attack from there into there, which would take these line, these, these new units here. And we could probably move into there. The thing is, that's a big stack, but, you know. But we could probably attack into there. And we could definitely take this one out. So that would leave them only two we were not in the pocket and then further to that we could probably achieve something else so in the first instance then let's see what we can so there's well there's not a huge stack in there there's just some infantry but with some support from the special forces so So they're both pretty tough. And that's a weak one. Hmm. So that's what I want to do. We just want anything far enough advanced. I'm going to move anyway into there. Now let's see how far we can get these. Okay. Hmm. I can try this. This is the armor. Which movement have they got? I've got one movement left. Oh, well, alright, let me just see if I can sort that out. What I'm going to do for this game, aren't I? Okay, maybe I'll just do it, it won't affect this game. Hmm. Try. I 
punch into there and there. Let's see. Ooh. Hmm. We've got in there just some special forces. Let's see what we can do artillery wise here. So we kept them a little bit. 1.9, 3. Okay, well, let's see what our air power can do on that. Look how much air defense they've got. Shut down! Well, that's a, a bit unusual. Half strength, that's believable. So it's now on 3.9 and 3.7. Okay, we're going to be we'll use him from the attacks, but I'm going to try and attack into here with everything else. Hopefully this should be a walkover because it's only worth five. Hmm. It'll actually be four, five, six, seven to one alone. But the real move doing so is under control, but he hasn't. So I'm not going to put him in. Yeah, seven to one. Yeah, he's got got any movement left now. Okay, this is the big one. This is the one that sort of everything hinges on, really. And the theory should be about two to one. But it was just an exchange. Okay. Well, we've got that, at least. We've got this here. Let's see if we can punch this away. The worst we get in there first, but let's see what this does. to move into there, but that would just be a one-to-one. -one. There just isn't enough sort of extra stuff in there to be to push that. to one of the DV. Just pushed him back. So I don't want to attack any of these yet because I want to sort of use the sort of pincher approach to um working them out. I'm 
move this armor this way. Then what the first time around? Exchange, two to one in exchange. Whoop. So if I don't attack him this turn, he's probably just going to sort of retreat anyway. Okay, well that's most things move. Oh yeah, we've got, we've got an obvious attack here. Let's just push these units back. So it's one of the BE. So that's, you can see that's used up. So in here, so we've moved up. All moved. Let's push some of these defense yeah, units in the right direction. Okay, so that's it for the f first turn, really. So the lackeys, what can they do? I'm obviously being struck and obviously what they can see is their new front line looking like this. So obviously they're thinking, well, we've only got two hex and a three hex front there, so really we probably will push these things back. But they'll only be able to move one turn, so these will be able to move there, there, there possibly. Um, so we can definitely retreat from these. Now if they don't now well, I think the thing to sort of bear in mind here is that there's really no strategy. Uh, I, I, I'll just pick this out of hat, so I haven't got a lot of thinking into it, so I'm not sort of like a, you know, whiz at the operation, sort of in Omnibim or whatever it's called. Um, in fact, uh, Omnibim. Yeah, I'm sure if you were to sort of think deeper, you'd probably be able to sort of get a, a better grip for the strategy that was used. But what I'm thinking, the reason I'm saying that, because what I'm thinking is that they really want to keep this mirror on Sush, because that's what we're trying to get through. I mean, there's this pool there, which I sort of wanted to upgrade to a town, at least. It's quite, you know, it's quite a significant place. I'm not sure what this, this is. So this was, other than this as far as they got. But what I'm saying is they want to hold this. So this is, this is a, a white. So really what we're going to be doing is actually pushing the line so that they've got this as concrete. So here they've lost a couple of hexes, they're going to be pushing that again. So we're going to be gaining these hexes here, I think, and reinforcing this line along here so that they can keep that front. 
I mean, obviously we can retrieve it, but that's not what they were about. So you know, the thing is, the question is, is that possible? You know, can we push against here, and is there a risk here? So. And for that purpose, we need to take all these units out. For that purpose, we really do need to get that line, as I just said. I mean, this could be okay with just taking these ones out, but we need to actually take these out as well. I think that's going to be a lot harder. Now, so what have we got? Obviously we've got this sort of mechanised armoured core over here. motorised units. So I mean that's like a massive stack of armour there. We could possibly we get some artillery. I think we've more artillery than the uh, Iranians have. So what we could possibly do So we send this armor stuff in this direction down here. What I'd like to do is take both of these. So we've got one already set up for an attack. Well that's anti-aircraft, so let's just shift that back. We don't want that confusing things. Depression. So, we use our air power here. Let's push them up to 1.7, which is hardly worth it. But we'll leave them for that direction. We'll push him into there. Artillery. Let's think about this first then, because it might be useful to actually pin the breeze with the artillery. What have we got in this stack? We've got a similar stack there. Let's pull that. Oh, that's pretty tough. 
Okay, let's go for this first without using any artillery. Okay, so we'll push them back. <laughs> wow. Yeah, sixty, eighty, a hundred. I'm sure that it must have calculated that fine. Um, it just seems like a lot. So now we we'll use that. So we've got some. Oh, I'm going to where can we in to that spot. Depression 4, and this depression nothing. So I'm not going to use my artillery on this stack here, I think. There's only two that can reach, but that will do. So, depression 2, depression 5.8. This would be possibly 2 to 1. Let's just try it. Exchange with the worst dice roll ever. That was a three to one, so that was a pretty good hack. So basically, the Iraqis have achieved their strategic goal of widening that bottleneck. And if we look at it now. It's more like that now. So we've achieved taking these two hexes here, but we still need these ones. Yeah, this is the sort of... Let's take these four hexes here to really sort of widen that out, keeping our pressure on Sush there. So let's see what we can do here. Well, actually, I've got on there anyway. And three. We should be able to find it. Well, we can actually. We're not adjacent. We can fire as. Um, yeah, we can. 1.5.
really want to push this unit out here. So there's going to be a 40. This will be a, a tank battle basically. It's going to be worth 2.8, 1.3. So basically it's going to be worth 40. And we can get 1 to 1. We can get 1 to 1. Even that is not good enough for me. What I'm going to do instead. Let's see what we can do here. So we have 13, 1, 2. We should be able to get, we should be able to get good odds here. But, I want to be able to follow in. So what's the terrain like under there? Rubbish. So, if I try and get a 1 to 1, Two to one with whatever else is available. Oh, we got them. And the problem is. He can't move in, can he? He can. So we want to try this. Be basically a one to one. Well, we could possibly at least force that one back. With a lot more certainty. The has pushed him back. It's not the best attack. Twenty six. One to one. It's still nutrition here. Huh. We did two lots of damage. That's still nutrition here. Strong nutrition based on the tanks. Oh, we have won that. And let's continue the nutrition against Sush. So that's that really. So the, the, the turn has ended quite nicely really, I think. I don't think we're going to go much further because it's slow going. We require it even to be quite to sort of play a, a, a leisure idea that I'm not going to, but we push that front line so that it's less of a pincher action.
we're going to have to really start fighting to restore that. And so it, 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 it is an option. I think that was the point I was trying to get to when I was just thinking about it. Because it seemed to me that the easiest thing was to withdraw from such, because that's what the Iranian was sort of pushing for. And, you know, if I hadn't managed to take these hexes um, here, as well as this one and this one, you, 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 you know, that would have been a lot worse. But now instead of two, I've got four. One, two, three, four. So I've got four of them and four there. Excuse me, a lot more scope. This should be a lot tighter and this should be a lot tighter. I'm wondering whether or not it's actually possible for the Avengers to do this anyway. Um, The thing is, a lot of the battles were sort of that one to one, one uh, two to one type odds. You know, they were doing those, and that was reflected, I think, in the way I say that, by the, the fact they're doing these human waves and the pastoral and assault without armoured support. You know, they're sort of crap shots to, to the larger extent, where you know, like a one to one, and that's sort of what they were doing. Um, I think I'll see what we can do as the Iranians now. I think that um, essentially what's going to start happening now is we're going to be able to start identifying weak units like three depressions. He's not depressed. But it's very possible, I mean, not to no, very possible we can actually start to really really work on that. For example, if I can punch this way, this is there, and somehow into here, Even if I can just take these two hexes back. I can take these ones though. Okay. Well, a lot depends really on this action here. Well, we've got this to move into there, so we'll push whatever we can into there. Oh, yes, I've got him to use him. Now well, I see it's probably over. Can't put much more than that in there. So, let's... What have we got in here? No depressions. Let's focus our air power on that. What have we got here? It would be nice punching that. Let's see what we can do with the air power against this. Not a lot, but we've got artillery, or, or not, is the artillery that far out of range? Okay, we should be able to move a little further. Yes. 2.9, that's more like it, and 0.8. We're going to him at 5, so he's only worth 10 now. So what I want to do on that... So this is the thing, I want to use him. Because I'm going to punch through to there. So I'm going to move both of these into there. 
So I'm going to be using the fresh one here and the motorized ones here. I should be able to push him back. I'm going to win this. Oh! The animation is just as good, which means now that I can push this unit into there. This unit and the stacking limits. Let's see what we can do here. Well it's armor as well so oh yes two to one right oh point point five we can move into it I can't explain just an exchange. And that was the one we needed to win. Expecting that sort of result there, but I was hoping to have won that. Special force units. Oh, this could be a three to one, two to one exchange.
I could try and push into there. All these critical ones are just exchanges. I, mean, I haven't been firing at these units because my objective is to get the, um, you know, to, to, to get the surround. That's what I'm fighting for here. It's it's an interesting game. I don't want to play anymore because I've got things to do. Four to six minutes, but. You know, if you have a bit of time to just sit there and work through it, through it. I mean, I think it could definitely do with being on a bigger board, but um, that said, I think it's definitely, it does, it's definitely working at that level. I think the question is, in my mind's eye, is, is do the Iranians actually have enough to actually, you know, to, to do this in theory, or is it always going to be, crap shot because it does look as though the Iraqis are giving as good as they're getting. Um, it, it just so happens in this situation the Iraqis have lost two units, the Iranians have lost them, so the Iranians could be sort of moving towards the advantage on that. But even so, I mean down here we've got units that are um, heavily fatigued. And that was on three. This one's in 6.8. I mean, you know, if the target that stack win, he could be routing. Um, I just think these locks here are so tough, and there's two armed units in there, and an armed unit in there, and a mechanized unit. That's really going to be a hard thing for them to sort of to get away from. Um, other things, so, uh, and I think I would like to, and possibly will give the Iranians a few more units, I think, just to sort of give them that sort of edge, or at least to sort of, because I, I think, you know, I probably have to sort of double the units to give them an edge, I don't think it's an edge, it's just sort of just tighten up on that side of things, but I think one thing that I might say is that we might be more inclined to do right from the start is to focus on anti-artillery or anti-air defence operations and or maybe to, to 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 use the air power for air superiority which I haven't really seen done before but we, we, we really start off with four air, air units and the Iraqis only have two I think and so you could sort of say well okay we'll, we'll, we'll work it that way but even so we've got more artillery and the artillery will hurt and so focusing more on those, I think here we, we could have we could have got you know the, that that hex, and we had two cracks of it, and each one was an exchange, and they were both either a three to one or a two to one. So they were good op options, and so we could have had that. You know, if we'd had a bit more, the thing is, exporting we, we couldn't export into all of these hexes, but in theory. You know, to start to sort of look at things and to think, well, she's blue. You know, we could, in theory, have extended our front line like that, which would have mean that the only place out was Sunday. So we're going to sort of see next time that we can take that, we can actually then get that pocket and do what the, you know, the objective is and crush those forward elements and here the, you know from there on it's we can we can accept this as a front line we can accept this as a front line 
Um, you know, we're not really, it's not a game to just defeat the enemies, it's a game to sort of... Oh, oh, just... <laughs> I just stabbed my tongue and sitting at a chair, my parents are sitting in the chair. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, um, it's 50, 50 minutes. Um, more interesting than I thought it would be. Uh, as I said, uh, I think the spot straight off the board is a bit small and a bit offset. It's all happening sort of over here, but I still think it's sort of working quite nicely, really. Um, so if you think you, know, you can do better, either way, then sign up and, and give it a whirl. Speak to you later. Cheerio!